We got smacked down by Aston Villa. I mean, we really got smacked down by Aston Villa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your match reaction for Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Aston Villa has just put us to sleep with 3-1. I mean, 3-1. How do we lose against Aston Villa? I just don't understand, to be honest with you. I really don't understand. They had to change the coach because they were struggling. They are a shit team. But somehow, when they play against us, they turned into this prime Barcelona. I just don't understand it. I really, really don't understand it. It's an overdue upset, to be honest with you. Emery's opening outing sees a vital win for Aston Villa. We were playing a catch-up from the beginning. I mean, eight minutes in, uh, Bailey, I think, who stole an early lead in the matchup. And then Digne added a stunning free kick that we can't save. I mean, what can you do with the free kick? Yeah, it's a stunning free kick, and David De Gea had no chance to save that. I thought when well, we got a goal back from Shaw, when Shaw's shots deflected uh, and appeared to give actually uh, the Manchester United team and us uh, that we were going to go back into the, into the game. But it didn't look like that. I mean, it didn't look like that in the second half. The second half started as just continued where it stopped. The pressure was on from the beginning. It was just an ugly, ugly game and a, an awful and embarrassing performance from Manchester United. I'm just going to go run down through the players we have. Um, David De Gea, I think he was well beaten for all the three goals on the day. I don't think he could have made any saves. He had kept six clean sheets in the past, but in this one, he couldn't make any saves, to be honest with you. So I'm going to give him five out of ten. Uh, Dalot, uh, Dalot, not special. I mean, spe he's not especially targeted by Villa in terms of like attacking him on that right hand side, but he underperformed today. He had a bad touches in the match. Uh, there was one time where Casemiro puts him in. He was set up one on one. He's trying to pass it backwards. That was actually a big chance for us to get back into the game and get that second goal, but. It's just awful, awful game. Five out of ten for me. Uh, Victor Lindelof is another one who, who, who he has been brilliant in the past. He has been brilliant in the past, but in this game, I think he was trash. He's he, he he just basically the first goal. If you watch the first goal, it's Victor Lindelof chasing. I, I I don't remember what player it was, but he was chasing a player out of position, way out of position, and he created that gap and that back four, which they perfectly used and executed perfectly for our, uh, Aston Villa to hurt us in that first goal. So I think it was bullied all game long. Victor Lindelof, three out of 10 for me. Um, Lissandro Martinez, he had to cover for Lindelof time and again. I mean, it's just, it's just awful by Lindelof. I don't expect Lindelof to start now. Harry Maguire is going to come back in. Am I a fan of Harry Maguire? No, I'm not. But Lindelof just wasted his chance today, to be honest with you. Um, uh, and Lissandro Martinez, of course, he if I if I had to pick the best player for Manchester United, I would have to go with Lissandro Martinez. I mean, he's been okay. He's been solid. He showed fight, desire, and heart into the game, which we lacked all around across the board. I don't know if it's... If it's that we're tired or if it's lack of effort, I don't know why that is coming. I, hopefully it's because they're tired. Because if they're not tired and they're playing like this, I mean, it's just incredible. Eric Ten Hag definitely has to take a blame on this because he's playing the same team week in, week out. Clearly, you can see the team is struggling uh, to catch up for fitness in terms of they get tired quickly. You see the match today. It looked like we played another game yesterday. I mean, everybody was tired. Everybody was tired. The intensity wasn't there. So I think that's the reason why we lost this game. I don't think it's a lack of quality. I think it's the lack of desire and that intensity the team doesn't have. And I can't blame the team. Look, I mean, we are definitely going to lose a game. We're not going to win every single game, right? But when you lose a game, you better 
go down fighting. And I don't think we showed enough fight today. I don't know if it's because we we it's because we tired. Could be, but I don't know. Eric Ten Hag has to come out and answer that question. Uh, Luke Shaw, 5 out of 10 for me. Conceded that free kick for Lucas Dina, who he scored a stunning goal. Luke Shaw's delivery was bad today as well. Uh, I'll give him 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Uh, Casemiro, of course, another 5 out of 10 for me. He, he's been a consistent performer in the past, but not in this game. In this game, he couldn't control the game. He couldn't control that midfield. Uh, I don't know if it's because Donny is playing. I don't know if that is the reason, but he couldn't control that back. Back. He couldn't protect that back four. Uh, he, he lost the ball a couple of times, but <clears throat> average performance, maybe below average, five out of 10 for me. Erickson is another one. Subdued performance. I mean, possibly his regular playing time is catching up with him now. Uh, never truly grabbed the game, in my opinion. 5 out of 10 for me. Alejandro Garnacho has done well in the past, but not today. Today, he showed that he is still way behind. I mean, way behind in terms of like starting for Manchester United and continuing to be picked for Manchester United. I don't think he can be a starter at this moment in time. It's, it's early, early stages for him. And he showed that he's, he's still young. In this game but he has been the best forward for united uh in the past six out of ten for me donny an awful performance eric ten hack perhaps the only manager on the fucking planet who would have started donny van de Vick after that performance i called it in the preview that he might need another chance and eric ten hack gave him another chance uh, another chance but He's just awful, anonymous, disappeared. He looked like a ghost, a ghost uh, performance by Donny. Three out of 10. Marcus Rashford, ineffective, all game, ineffective down the right. He just doesn't look comfortable playing on the right. Like his whole uh, threat is just completely gone. He stopped taking on players. He stopped dribbling. You start cutting inside and shooting. All of that is just completely gone when you play him on the right. He suffered. He didn't create any chance for the striker as well. Ineffective. Four out of ten. And Cristiano. Another bad performance from Cristiano. Four out of ten as well. I mean, he is the greatest goal scorer of all time. Let's be honest. But he's not showing it at this moment in time for Manchester United. I don't know his lack of conf uh, confidence is down because of the coach putting him on the bench for a while, but he did start him in this game. He did start him in this game and made him the captain of the team. You would expect Cristiano can grab that opportunity and probably score a goal here, a goal there, but he couldn't do that. I mean, the team suffered. He had one chance who uh, a cross comes in. I don't remember who might've been Luke Shaw. He had a free header. And Martinez saved, but that's the only chance I remember. He started a fight with Mings as well. He could have been sent off. I mean, VAR actually checked uh, a possible red card on Cristiano. Uh, an awful, awful day. A night to forgive and to forget for Cristiano. Okay, let's quickly uh, look at the bench before I wrap up here. Terrell Malasia, he replaced Shaw. Did little in the game. Five out of ten for me. Uh, Anthony Langa again nothing nothing really nothing from Anthony Langa I don't I don't know what he's just not the quality we need he has to go I mean Anthony Langa has to be loaned out or he has to go I mean every single time he comes in he shows nothing I mean nada ridiculous now uh, five out of ten uh Anthony Martial again Anthony Martial you would expect he could come in and make a difference, but he hasn't. He a lot of uh, missed, uh, missed touches, uh, bad passes, bad runs. He wasn't even sprinting in this game. I mean, I don't know why Eric Ten Hag actually chose to play uh, Martial in this game because he doesn't look 100% to me. He was scared to make a sprint. He was scared to make uh, to get into 50-50 tackles and 50-50 challenges. So that's, that's the one to watch out on the next game. I think we're playing 
Aston Villa again against uh, uh, in the Carabao Cup again. So we'll see if he can actually start that game. But first appearance of four weeks, bad performance from Anthony Martial as well. But I'm not picking anybody today. I'm picking the entire team, including the coach. I think the lineup was incorrect. And I think I even though I chose that lineup, it just didn't work today. Una Emery just masterclass. He dominated us completely tactically. And I think uh, the players were really, really tired and he needed to freshen things up. But but Eric Ten Hag did it. And because of that, we paid for it and we lost the game 3-1. But that is my match reaction, guys. Let me know in the comment section who was your man of the match. And let me know in the comment section as well who would you start in the next game and who should have been on the bench. Should we continue to use Cristiano up front or should we look somewhere else? Let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, in the comment section below. Uh, thank you again for watching. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. As always, I am out. Peace.